Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Another Brick in the Mall. Last episode we started building our little grocery store here. And this episode we're going to build some other stuff. I don't know what that other stuff is going to be, but we sure are going to do it. So here, let's just speed everything up again. Our store clerks are doing pretty well. You know, I'm also going to build a staff door here. Just so that they can be a little bit faster. They need to get something down here. Turn a daily profit. And we are researching frozen food supplier. So yeah, we'll let that go. We'll all be good. Construction workers aren't doing anything. I don't think we really need more road. Now, what I will do is I will take it to this and actually we'll turn that into road. We'll stretch you out just farther. And we'll stretch you out a little farther. And what we'll do is this. If there's nothing else to spend our money on, it should be spent on road. Just because... Do you pay maintenance on this? I don't think you do. I mean, you probably pay some. Although I'm not really sure either way. But it's good just to have more road. And our frozen food supplier is almost done. Our janitor is cleaning up. Alright, frozen food supplier is done. So we are going to get... No, let's actually get restaurants one. Ice cream, frozen vegetables, and frozen pizzas. Restaurants will allow us to begin constructing a restaurant, obviously. And you know what we're going to do is we're going to kind of make it... I'm trying to remember how this game does this stuff. Yep, that's how I want it. Except not exactly like that. I want it to be a bit... Oh, I don't have enough money to build that. Don't worry, just, if we just give it a day or so, we'll have enough money. What I want to do is I'm actually going to remove the road work right there. And right here. And we're going to kind of start building a little mall section. So you'll still be able to come in here. However, there's going to be a little wall hallway here that will take you into the restaurant. You know what we could do is to cut down on size here. Actually, the, the fast food restaurant needs a lot less. We'll undo that and we'll set it to something else. So now they'll only use this storage for, for the grocery store, but that should be fine. It shouldn't cause any problems. And we'll attach our fast food restaurant on the here. So that people can still come in the front if they want to. Yeah, yeah, I like how this is going. I changed my initial idea about it, but I still like the idea overall. So we don't have quite enough money to how big I want it to be. We can at least start. Actually, I think there might be more than enough. Door. Staff door. Order counter. Yeah, this should be enough. 
set up four order counters. and a wall. So our employees can go in through there. Um, restaurants, perfect. People are actually getting hungry. And we'll build you right here in the middle. We'll just keep the road going up. Floor tile. Really? You can't just put tile out. You have to build the full foundation. So we can't build everything we need, but we can start placing some of the stuff. Um, yeah, the food court tables are more than enough. I forgot, it. it's kind of wonky when you try to place them vertically. Place them there and there. Yeah, this should be fine. <clears throat> All right, so we are making some cash mice. We do have a bit of a deficit today so far. Probably a lot of it is from construction. And you know, the day is still going on. We still have plenty of people in line and we're gonna turn that profit pretty quickly. Let's see, we're getting closer to... So we aren't quite getting to any of our rewards, so we are just going to have to wait to get some money. And also, we're just waiting for our, to finish our restaurants research. You know, we're making so much money that I actually do feel confident in... Ugh, hiring a second set of researchers. Well, office workers. Manage, office. Hire office worker. Eight. Sixteen. And you are going to be set to 24. Now you're all working eight hour shifts. Everything should be good. So it does say we did not earn a profit for... Oh, wait, this is today so far. Obviously, since we're not making any money, all of our maintenance and salaries and stuff are going to be flying there. Stock clerk is in a bit early. Here to refresh the shelves. Good, good, good. Cashiers are all here right on time. And here come the customers. Now, I keep wanting to build a foundation here just so I can build a pathway. You don't actually need that there. I'm just doing it just because I want it to look good. However, we will need some extra things here for our fast food restaurant. I think we may have even built too many tables. We're definitely not going to end up using all of these. This is just going to be future-proofing it. Which, we'll try and build some of our stores up here. Eventually, we will build more restaurants and stuff we'll probably put them on like the other we'll try and space the restaurants apart because you don't need a lot of them our liquor i am pretty sure is going extremely well i do occasionally see these shelves being somewhat empty so our profit we had 300 dollars profit i understand obviously since i have the new uh the new um 
office workers here, I'm not going to have as much. That's perfectly fine. We are almost done our restaurants. See how many man hours left? It shouldn't be much longer. Stock clerk. And here come all the employees. People are coming in. They're buying. And we are selling office workers. I would like to get that fast food restaurant soon. We are having a good amount of customers on site. We're starting to barely. There we go. We have that. Let's research night hours. We're going to sign this as a fast food restaurant. And now, what should we name this? Um, ooh, I know. The King's Fish. Good old Huey Long joke. So, we'll start you at 8 and we'll set you. Yeah, let's just do it. We'll have 16 hours, so we only need two shifts of people. So we are not going to assign you your storage. We are going to need a stock clerk for you. So you start, start at 6. We need a cook. We should only need two cooks. And we need, we'll start out with just one cashier eat. One cashier for each shift. We'll build. You still need a soda dispenser. I forget, does the soda dispenser go in here? We do need the fast food warmer, which you cannot rotate, annoyingly enough. We need the fast food cooking range, which you also can't rotate. I don't remember if that's for them. Like, I know this is not... is for the employees. I don't remember if the soda dispenser is for the customers or not. So all the stuff for our fast food restaurant have been delivered, and now we're just going to wait. We are researching night hours, which will allow us to stay open 24-7, which is what I think we will do with our supermarket. Although during the night, I think we're not going to have as many people. Although we're kind of going to have to we're going to have to play it by ear how many people there are and we'll shift the hours accordingly. I don't think that um, not too many people come in the middle of the night. So here we go. There we go. We have people who I don't think these people are coming here just to get fast food. Q's for the, really? That's weird. Night hours. Yeah, we'll do chemical supplier. Yeah, I don't think we need another cashier for the king's fish. Here, let's just build... Oh, I am in the hole. Hey, we're just going to have to take a couple days just to recu recuperate all this money. And... If Soon we're gonna be we're gonna get our ten thousand dollar bonus just from having five thousand total sales.
Okay, we are making some money, and we did research chemical supplier. Uh, yeah, let's get sales monitoring. Q's fuel at the, full at the Kingsfish. It must be people with, like, really short patience. Do we have any duplicate items? Toilet paper. Cookware. Toys. Pads and tampons. I don't think we have any food that we're going to be able to replace it with. Though we're going to get a bonus. Alright, tomorrow we should probably get our bonus for it. Alright, sales monitoring. Um, road network will allow us to get more people, but we do not want to do that yet. Look at clothing supplier. People are leaving the king's fish because of the queues. Hmm. Ah, uh, here we go. Now we have a little influx of money. So now we are going to take some shelves and we're going to put some of that extra stuff on them that we just unlocked. So we'll set soap and shampoo, cosmetics, tooth care, Deodorants, shaving cream, and diapers, and we need. Oh, two more. Perfect. Uh, we could put. Yeah, let's get three more of these shelves. One, two, three. Do we have anything else that we can put on like a table? Not yet. I want to put car tools in there, detergents, bed sheets, and light bulbs and electricity. Yeah, people should now be happy that they can buy more of this stuff here and we'll probably get more customers coming in. King usage, net profit. So yeah, it continues to just go up. And luckily, since there is no such thing as an economic disaster in this game, our sales will continue to go up. Now, is there any way... We're researching clothing. We're actually going to make a clothing store. You know what? We can take this chance. Actually, no. Oops, really no there. What we'll do is we'll put it like this. And then we'll build... I pointed at my screen... We'll put the clothing store over there to the right, and we can just use them, have them use the same thing. Storage. Again, you don't really need all of this. There we go. Well, if I'm smart, I would do it this way instead. I can't believe... We're having times where the queues at the Kingfish are full. It's not happening enough for me to care about. Alright, we are having some more customers show up than we were before. Sell 50 different... Oh, we, we um, sell... What was it? 40 different types of products? I hear now we're really starting to make some money. Good, good, good.
Yes, that's how I want it. Blue electronics. So we're actually going to get rid of that door. Oops. And we're going to put a single door here. And we're just going to fill in the wall. And there eventually will be a double door right here. The way I hope it eventually goes is, well really it would ideally be the other way around. Oh, this will be perfectly fine for right now. If you will just go up through there into the king's fish. If we really wanted to do it well, what we would do is we put this door here. Actually, I think we can still do it. Customer parking. People are, we're going to have parking here no matter what. Oh, uh, yeah, we can fit parking in. So, say we got rid of this double door. We put walls here instead. Uh, construction workers. Oh, they're building that. That's why they're not taking care. There we go. And let's put a wall here. Now we are going to need to move our food, our liquor shelves, but I think this will make it look a whole lot nicer. I am kind of limiting myself with the space we have here, but you can build multiple of these wall sections. Food shelf. One, two, three. And beer, wine, and liquor. Now you can actually set up liquor stores and you do get a good amount of business, but I'm just not going to do that quite yet. Now what should happen is people are probably going to start parking up here. At least I think so. You know what, I think I'm going to put the door back. Just let people walk in however they want. What I could do eventually is make this area up here the grocery store and kind of just block and just extend this down and have like a store here and like one here. Yeah, it is occasionally happening. Happening. It's gotta be just people who are being impatient. Is there anyone here? He has like no patience at all. Oh, he got, yeah, he's getting their, his food, they're getting all their food pretty quick. So I don't know why it's happening like that. All right, another successful day. Now, currently at Tiger Mart, we do have enough cashiers. For everything right now. I don't know if I want to extend into having night hours quite yet. Oh uh, yes, people buying liquor. backbone of the American economy also the Victoria 2 economy I always love that uh, the, the best way to make money in Victoria 2 oh you know what oh that's what I should play I'll make myself look like an idiot but it'll be an entertaining idiot hopefully is the best way to become industrialized is to make a shit ton of uh, liquor factories because whether you're rich you're poor we're in middle class. You still want alcohol. I'm quite happy with how the Kingsfish are doing. It's going perfectly. 
you know, as we start building more stores and we start getting more customers, we will start needing more people there. But the way it's set up right now, it's perfect. Couldn't ask for anything more. And guys, I think that is where we are going to end it for today. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.